The Miami Dolphins and Tua Tagovailoa right now are at the discussion table for a long-term deal. And I believe the Dolphins are going to be making a huge mistake giving Tua Tagovailoa an extension, especially if they plan on making him one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL. And my problem with Tua getting an extension has nothing to do with how good he is as a quarterback fully to a certain extent. All right, Tua is a really good quarterback, but a really good quarterback shouldn't be getting paid like a Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen or Lamar Jackson. It's levels to this shit. If you're an elite quarterback, you deserve to be paid as much as Patrick Mahomes. But Tua Tagovailoa getting more than Patrick Mahomes or making as much as a guy like him just doesn't sound right. And it's just not a smart financial investment. Hell, there are guys like Matthew Stafford who are making $40 million a year. And you're really going to give Tua Tagovailoa somebody who doesn't play well in big games and looks soft in big moments? $45 million a year? A $200 million contract? Like, that would be an awful decision. Especially investing in somebody who has extensive history of not being available. This just is one of those situations where the Miami Dolphins would be better off if they just move on from Tua. Move on from Tua, yes. The Miami Dolphins should just trade Tua. Trade Tua to the Washington Commanders. Try to get that third overall selection. Try to see whatever you could do to add on to trading Tua to make the Commanders want to take that trade. And then you take that number two pick. And you draft either Drake May or Jaden Daniels. You need to try to get a quarterback that has the potential to go toe-to-toe with Patrick Mahomes. You see, the problem with a lot of teams in the NFL, like the Miami Dolphins or the Dallas Cowboys, is that when they get a good quarterback, they, they get stuck with just having a good quarterback. And when you have just a good quarterback, yeah, you can win with that. You can make it to the postseason with that. But you're not going to be able to make a deep playoff run with the quarterback that's just good enough. Tua is only as good as the team that you put around them. And then even then, when you get into the fourth quarter of these playoff games, Tua just doesn't show up. He looks really timid. If you watch Hard Knocks this year and you listen to the interactions between him and Mike McDaniel, Mike McDaniel has to try to not say anything that could ruin Tua's confidence because he's one of those players that he gets easily rattled. And if things start off slow, early, he's not going to have a good game. And that's not franchise quarterback material to me. If I'm going to pay you $45 million, I need you to be able to step up in the fourth quarter. I need you to play the same way you did when you dropped 70 on the Denver Broncos against any other good teams that we play. You know, like against the Buffalo Bills. He got owned by Josh Allen in both occasions. He was the worst quarterback on the field. You're in division with a top three QB right now. You're in the conference with the majority of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. And you really think a guy like Tua is going to be good enough to get you a Super Bowl? Like, stop this shit. Like, your goal shouldn't be trying to find a quarterback that's good enough. Every team should be trying to get a superstar quarterback. And if you don't have that, you should always be looking to try to find the opportunity to get one. Tua is not going to win you a Super Bowl. You can put all the players you want around Tua. It's not going to change the fact that from a mentality standpoint, he just doesn't have that it factor. He doesn't have that switch that he can flip in his brain where all of a sudden the game's on the line. He's about to win you the football game. He's the reason why guys like Patrick Mahomes continue to cakewalk through the AFC Because guys like Tua just don't have what it takes to win in the playoffs. He's not a championship quarterback. He is more closer to Alex Smith than he is close to being anywhere close to what Drew Brees was. People say he's like a better, he's like a worse version of Drew Brees. Like, no, he's more closer to Alex Smith than Drew Brees. Like, Tua is not an elite quarterback. 
He's a good quarterback. You can make it to the playoffs with that, but you're not going to win a Lombardi trophy with somebody who doesn't show up in the fourth quarter. The reason why Patrick Mahomes beat Lamar and Josh Allen and Tua and surprised everybody during this playoff run was because in the fourth quarter, Mahomes was at his best and the other quarterbacks that he was up against were at their worst. Lamar Jackson just fell apart in the fourth quarter. Josh Allen, the last six minutes of the game, he fell apart. And Tua, he didn't even bother to show up. He was scared of the moment. I believe the reason why Miami Dolphins fans defend Tua so much is because they can't get over the fact that they drafted this dude over Justin Herbert, who's just better in every area. He's a one of the top five most talented quarterbacks in the league right now. Yet, you got a quarterback that's extremely limited. You got to design a specific scheme around them. You got to have specific players with the specific skill set around them. It's just that, why settle for good when you could go after great? Trade to a, get Drake May, get Jaden Daniels, get you a quarterback that has that superstar potential. Well, JT, they're unproven. Like, with Tua, you know what you get. Listen, you got to take risk. You got to take swings if you want to win in the NFL. Drafting Patrick Mahomes was a big risk that paid off for Kansas City. But you just can't use the fact that you're scared to take that risk as the reason to justify why you should handicap yourself for five to seven years to a quarterback that's only good enough to get you to the playoffs and then you get bounced right out. You're not going to win anything with Tua. Now, if you just want to be okay with, you know, going to the playoffs and not doing anything every single season and having a guy that... Does it piss you off how much you pay for your monthly phone bill? Why are you getting frustrated when our partner Mint Mobile has plans as low as $15 a month that give you unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5G network? Stop getting frustrated with how much you spend on your monthly phone bill and go to trymintmobile.com slash jtsports and description and pin comment down below to get access to premium wireless for only $15 a month that's only $15 a month switching to mint is easy it only takes 15 minutes to do if you're pissed off with how much you pay for your monthly phone bill switch to mint mobile today and go to trymintmobile.com slash jt sports in description and pin comment down below to get premium wireless for only $15 a month stop getting upset with how much you spend on your monthly phone bill and switch to mint mobile today that's going to put up great numbers in the regular season cool cool like Resign to her. It makes sense. But if you're trying to win a Super Bowl, it makes tons of sense to trade this dude, especially when his value is really high since he was fairly healthy last season. But it's just, if I'm going to give a quarterback $45 million, if I'm going to give Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow kind of money to a quarterback, you better be just as good as them. And for Tua, he just isn't in that group. He's not an elite quarterback. If I'm going to break the bank to pay a quarterback, I'm going to pay the best one. I'm going to pay somebody who's elite, somebody who's generational, and that's not Tua. Therefore, until I find that, I'm going to continue to look at where my options are. I'm going to continue to always try to find a better quarterback. Even if I give to a, a two, three year extension, that's what I would give him because I still want to try to find a replacement. But the most I would give to a is thirty eight million dollars. I think that's fair. Paying him thirty five, thirty eight million dollars a year is a good contract for a guy of his level. He's a really good quarterback. He's not a great quarterback. He still is a top 10 quarterback. Not trying to say to do this shit, but in terms of being a capable quarterback to lead you to the championship, to lead you in the fourth quarter on a two-minute drive to win the game. He's not that dude. He just isn't it. He just looks scared of the big moment. Miami Dolphins fans, like, say what you want to, bro. Like, I've been right about you guys the last three off seasons. Tua just isn't it. I don't need to keep giving him better receivers. 
I like you improve the offensive line, that definitely will help them out. But I mean, what's the use of having a great team if just from a mental standpoint, he just doesn't have it. He just isn't clutch. There's nothing special about Tua. He's just a really good game manager that goes out and he executes the offense. But what does he add to the offense? What does he bring that makes him different? Nothing. Wow, he, he's really accurate. Oh, he has great anticipation. Cool. Doesn't every great quarterback in the NFL have great accuracy and anticipation? Isn't that part of being a quarterback? Throwing the football to the wide receivers accurately? It's like there's nothing special about Tua. He's just a good quarterback that executes the offense. He's not a QB that goes out and wins you the game. And that's why the Dolphins should trade Tua Tagovailoa. And I think it's a fairly well-explained explanation, in my opinion. But I already know you guys don't care. Like, you guys are going to be okay with mediocrity. You're going to be okay with, well, I won't say mediocrity. You're going to be okay with good enough. Good enough doesn't win you a Super Bowl. You know, Brock Purdy is better than Tua. Brock Purdy, at least he was able to clap back at Patrick Mahomes when the Chiefs were making their runs. It's not like Brock Purdy didn't do anything. Brock Purdy was good in big moments throughout the 49ers playoff run this year. Tua didn't do shit. Hell, Skylar Thompson did more than what Tua did against the Chiefs. You know, even though they played against the Bills and the defense did most of the work, it's just Tua just isn't a great big game quarterback. He's forever going to be a solid quarterback. Maybe later on in his career, he'll be like Kirk Cousins and he'll get better, but he's not a big game quarterback. And there's a reason why Brian Flores and company knew they made a mistake when they drafted this dude. He shouldn't be getting extended. If anything, instead of trying to extend Tua, the Miami Dolphins should be trying to trade Tua. Because if you don't have a quarterback like a Lamar Jackson or a Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen or anybody that has elite superstar skill set, you're not going to be able to win a Super Bowl. All you're going to go is to the playoffs, lose in the wild card round, and that's going to be all she wrote because you're always going to have a guy like Tua that just can't outplay any of the elite quarterbacks when it matters. And in the NFL, you shouldn't be satisfied with good enough or having stable quarterback play, you should be trying to find a quarterback who can help you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mahomes. If you don't have an elite quarterback, you still have an issue at quarterback. You see, Tua is good enough where you're not always going to be looking to replace him, but if the opportunity comes when you can replace him, you do it. Because the upside with a Jaden Daniels or Drake May or Caleb Williams is so much higher than the upside that you have with Tua. Tua has already reached his ceiling. His ceiling is what he is now. A good game manager that executes the offense. He'll get you to the playoffs. He'll look good in the regular season. He'll put up great numbers. And then he won't do shit when it matters. What's the point of even paying a guy like this if he's not elite? Just saying.